Maria and Jeff Saperstein think their old Victorian just might be hiding a fortune. That's because their stained glass windows could be priceless Tiffany windows. They're about to get their answer as our expert tells them what all that glass is really worth. When the Saperstein's moved into this Queen Anne Victorian in Bayport, New York, they knew nothing about it, except that it had fine hand-carved woodwork and beautiful stained glass windows. Then they learned that the home was designed for a wealthy New Yorker named William Smith. I assume he had a lot of money and probably pretty wealthy because he used and paid for an architect to come from New York City. That architect was P.J. Lauritsen, who just happened to work with stained glass artist Louis Comfort Tiffany, designer of brilliant windows for churches and mansions. But before he was a big shot, Tiffany made custom windows for homes like the Saperstein's. Today, they're so highly collectible that a single Tiffany window could be worth $100,000. The Saperstein's know there's a good chance that their windows might be among them, but they're dying to know for sure. So we've asked appraiser Elise Luray, a former auctioneer at the famed Christie's Auction House, to check out the windows herself. I was excited when I heard that there may be Tiffany windows in a grand old house on Long Island. It is common to have Tiffany windows in grand houses, especially around New York. As the Saperstein's brace for the news, Elise gets down to business. Wow, these are beautiful. Nice and old. Hmm, there's a crack here. There's a crack over here. That's in pretty good shape. Ah, there's a big crack up there. If they are genuine Tiffany windows, will those cracks affect their value? I walked up and I immediately knew these are old. And they're handmade, you can tell it. And there's just no comparison. It sounds promising. Obviously, the first thing when you go to appraise Tiffany is you look for signature. Now, I think you've already done that, right? Yes. And there aren't any signatures on them. He was pretty much 50-50. It doesn't mean if it's not signed that it's not as valuable as a piece that is signed. And another thing you do when you look at Tiffany Glass after there's no signature is we look maybe for certain elements. Is there copper foil around the base? Is it made in wood? All of his frames were outlined in wood. And then we look at the design. And this is where it was kind of the tell-off for me whether they were Tiffany or they're not Tiffany. If they are real, then the Saperstein's are in for a $100,000 shot. They're definitely period pieces. They're done and executed very nicely. They just don't have that one level of brilliance. Unfortunately, they're just not Tiffany. But they're great pieces, and they were a lot of fun to research, and they're, they're perfect for the house. Mm -hmm. But Maria and Jeff are still wondering what kind of cash their handmade windows might bring. If it was Tiffany, you know, you'd probably be looking still at like six figures. Mm -hmm. But again, still very collectible, um, desirable pieces. If you would buy them today, each piece and each panel would probably cost you between $500 to $1,000. $4,000 isn't chump change, and Maria and Jeff love their home's windows no matter who made them. I really think the importance and the value of these pieces are that they're period to the house, they come with the history of the house, and they're an excellent example of handmade stained glass. But I love them. Yeah, they look great. <laughs> they look great. And the Saperstein's plan to keep them right where they are as the highlight of their historic home. I'm Mike Siegel. More mysteries on the next episode of If Walls Could Talk. The previous owners are actually buried right down the, right across the street if you want to go take a look at it. Ooh, that's creepy. <laughs> they kind of close together. Okay. okay. We're like this. Okay.